you guys just saw me making my um apple pie oats really yummy and easy to make and of course i have coffee because coffee is life i've already had a full cup of my water so i'm ready to get in gear for the day i just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys for a minute um because first of all you guys gave so much love on last week's vlog so i'm really appreciative and thankful and a lot of you guys are really trying to come in heavy for this makeup video too thank you to everyone who has watched it if you haven't watched it you should go watch it <laughs> um i'm really proud of that video and how the whole thing turned out I definitely will do more like that in the future. You guys said you really like that style. So as long as you like that style, I will do them. I'm really swollen right here today. This is why I have that screwed up tooth that I'm trying to get fixed. And it's, my face is really swollen here today. Um, so. I need to film today because after I post tomorrow, which tomorrow my gorgeously kinky review is going up after i finish that um i'm not going to have any completed hair content so i need to go ahead and film there were videos that i was supposed to film last week um so that i wouldn't have to worry about this but it's been a rough week y'all i just wanted to get like real and candid with you guys Sorry. I'm candid with you guys about what's going on with me because I know a lot of you guys that follow me fo started following me because of the videos that I was doing on endometriosis but um you guys know that I've been in the process of purchasing new insurance I have an agent who is helping me get that squared away getting you know she's she's on the marketplace for me getting everything squared away so that I can have my new insurance purchased and paid for by the end of the month. Um, because of that, I can't get my medication. I did not realize that at some point the insurance had in fact started paying for it. So if you don't know, um, all of this may sound really foreign to you, maybe because you're new, but I do suffer with endometriosis. I have stage four endometriosis. They do stage it out, kind of like they stage out cancer. Um, and so in 2018, August of 2018, I graduated and I came back home because I was so far gone that I could hardly eat, I could barely go to the bathroom. Um, I would just pass out from the pain randomly And on top of all of that, I had a golf ball sized mass on my ovary. So that's just a little backstory for all of you guys. So I was in pretty bad shape when I graduated. Um, I really couldn't do a lot for myself. It was really hard to take care of myself. Um, and I guess in a lot of ways, like, the, the small blessing in disguise was that being in that situation made me really, I don't know, just really start connecting with YouTube more than I had in those few, the, that like year and a half prior that I had been on YouTube. But um, I basically found a new doctor, a pelvic health specialist, and he basically created a team for me and he was very dedicated to my health care he still is um and i had an oncologist can you imagine being you know 25 and they're like yeah so you have to have an oncologist because this there's a strong chance that this mass was left for so long without doing anything that it could be cancerous now um they went ahead and planned my surgery for February of 2019. I had my surgery in February of 2019. And I had probably like every doctor that you can imagine in that um, operating room with me. And it's a good thing that I did because 
and now this is personal so um i had so much so many adhesions from the endometriosis which i guess i should explain i know some of you guys are new and you may not know what endo is but it's basically the lining of your uterus growing outside of the uterus my case was one of the more rare ones that i had an endometrioma so cysts are common in the, the female reproductive system it's very common technically the egg that you drop every month is a cyst um but mine was directly correlated with my endometriosis so it's called an endometrioma so it's basically like endometriosis in your ovary kind of it's the easiest way for me to explain it in layman's terms so it's not something that's just going to burst and go away you know you feel better or whatever um that kind of mass rupturing could destroy your ovary it could destroy your tube and it could kill you so i was in that small percentage of people that had it so not only did i have that but when they went to open me up and it was supposed to be like an hour-long surgery um i had adhesions from the endometriosis from my rectum to the bottom of my pelvic floor to the top of my stomach so my entire abdominal cavity was stuck together i had some organs that had started to shift out of position um it was no wonder that i had issues eating and using the bathroom because literally it it i guess like the only correlation I could make is like if someone took a bottle of Elmer's glue and just just dumped it in and everything just kind of fused together. There, there are adhesions now that my doctor will not take out for fear that he would have to put me on a colostomy bag and he's just not willing to do that to me um, because he wants me to he wants me to have like a happy he doesn't just want me to have a happy life. Like he's very pro happy sex life for women. Like he is an amazing doctor. Um, but after all of this, they put me on a new drug. It's called Oralissa. And it's honestly worked wonders for me. Um, obviously everyone's experience is different. But there aren't a lot of drug options for people with endometriosis that isn't either just birth control or medical menopause. Um, if you've ever had a Lupron Depot shot, it's not the same as the Depot shot. Lupron is different. Lupron cuts everything off. You have like no hormone left. You have to have add back therapy if you're on Lupron. I was on that for some time and they cut all my shit off, but the, the adhesions and stuff was just still growing. And the endo was just chilling, flowing through my system. <laughs> so um, I'm on Oralissa. It's a relatively new drug. And because it's a relatively new drug, you guys know the American healthcare system. It's extremely expensive. It's over $1,000 a box. And when he put me on it, initially my insurance refused to pay. And I don't know what the hell he did but he was able to get it to me for free. Great. So I guess in the last couple of months or so, I guess they had, had to make a case that I had tried several different drugs and they did not work. They did not help treat my endometriosis. And so therefore this is the drug that I needed. And also now we have proof that it is working, you know? So, I guess that case had been made and they had started paying for it and I just didn't know. So, of course, when you turn 26, you gotta get your own turn and be like, get the hell out. <laughs> um, which is cool and everything. Getting the insurance is the easy part, but my meds have been cut off. And I have been off of my medication for a couple of weeks now and I feel crazy I am in pain, I am bloated, my boobs hurt, I'm just, y'all, it's been bad. Like, I've had to wake up every morning and ice my boobs. 
when I am at the store and I hear kids cry, my boobs start hurting and I'm really afraid that one day I'm going to be working and I'm just going to start lactating at this point. Um, I haven't had this much, much estrogen in my system in over a year. Um, the thing about Oralissa is that it doesn't cut you off completely. So like I still have cycles. I know um, some of you guys have questions about that. It's not birth control. So you can still get pregnant taking this. Like this is not birth control. Um, but it does regulate your hormones. Oralissa regulates everything in a way that I don't have to do any add back therapy. But I still have my personality. If you've ever been on Lupron, you may have experienced this. I think that's why a lot of people, unfortunately, have committed suicide on it because it literally cuts everything off. And I was so cold and icy and stale when I was taking it. I had no emotions, like none. I had no emotions and I didn't even really know it at the time until my boyfriend at the time was like, yeah, like, like, I don't even like getting in fights with you because you just be like, okay, whatever the fuck. Like, <laughs> I would just be like, okay, whatever. Fuck it. Like, I don't, like, I, I don't care. Um, he was like, there, there isn't even any, like, satisfaction and resolution with you because you really just don't give a shit. And, like, my, I hadn't, my emotions were just flatlined. Um, and I like the, the Oralissa because it doesn't do that. I and myself when I can take it and so not being on it has been frustrating because it's really messed with everything from the inside to the outside um my face isn't as swollen today but I'm sure you guys noticed last week that my face is pretty swollen um I was swollen in my nose I look like I was pregnant honestly like if you didn't know me and you heard me complaining about what was going on, you would tell me to go pee on a stick. But I know I'm not pregnant because I don't like nobody. Um, <laughs> it's just the simplest way to put it. I, listen, the day that I have sex, my doctor is going to like be so hype for me. Um, I'm just not ready to do that. I'm just being very candid with you guys. I'm not ready to do that. I've just been having a rough week because I'm not on my medication. It's definitely affecting me emotionally because I haven't been this hormonal in a long time and the other day I had to come home and just apologize to the whole house because I wasn't just such a horrible mood I almost called out because I was in such a horrible mood and I didn't even know if I was gonna make it out of the door like I just I was snapping on everybody and the thing is when you know that you're irrationally angry it makes you angrier because you know that what you're feeling is completely irrational. <laughs> so that's been rough. Like I said, the boob thing has really been just driving me crazy. Everything's swollen. Everything hurts. It's just a testament to how much that medication was helping me. I need to film. But one is overcast and two I feel like shit. And I'm debating whether I'm going to film or whether I'm just going to clean and have a movie day. Because my hair still looks good. My hair actually looks really good. Um, Camille Rose Curl Maker and Curl Love Moisture Milk. I gave out the deets on this a lot yesterday. I'm telling you, I need to get Camille Rose to give me a coupon code because I've been making them a lot of money too. Camille Rose, She Scented, and Curl Mix are the three brands that I have had to give the information out the most. Oh, also Curl Smith. I've given out my curl information for Carl Smith a lot too. Those are the brands that I've had to give out the most um, because people see my hair and they're like, oh my God, what is in your hair? Um, and I feel like I need, I need like an affiliate code or something, but it looks great. I did my hair Thursday. I want to finish eating Andrew some emails and um, I don't know what all, what else we're going to be doing this week. But y'all gonna be with us. <laughs> so I forgot to tell you guys. Look what I found. <laughs> so this is the Santa that I wanted. 
um, before we went on quarantine. And like I mentioned, when I came, was finally allowed to come back to work, all of them were gone except the one that I had and there was another one. I found him today and I'm so excited. Look at, look at how beautiful the gold details. I love it. It's pretty ornament. So this one is mine. Um, I'm going to set him out for decor this year. Um, just so that he has a place to go. So he won't be sitting in storage. But when I leave, I'm taking him with me. And then the traditional one will be mom's. But this is the one that I wanted. There was another one that I wanted. He had a really pretty curly beard. But I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna get any more of those. But if we do, I'll probably get him too. Because kind of what I envision when I do finally get a place, um, I want like a nice open concept situation. And just for Christmas, I'm envisioning like black, gold, champagne, bronze type stuff. Because I think I definitely want a black couch when I move. I don't know why, because I have Ellie who is orange and white, but I kind of really want to want like black furniture in my living space. So um, I'm just kind of envisioning the things that I want. So the longer I've been up, the more I've been in pain. So I just decided that I am not going to film any content today. I am going to take some ibuprofen and rest or so I think today since I'm chilling I don't want to watch the new 90 day fiance yet I don't the people on there just don't really intrigue me right now um let's see what do we have on here did you guys watch last week's Grey's Anatomy tell me how you felt because I definitely, I definitely cried. I did not think that they would be able to convince T.R. Knight to come back ever. So that whole episode was so good. Some people, Copper, leave Ellie alone. Copper, come here. She's going to slap you. He doesn't know when to stop. Some people said that they wish that there was more with Meredith and Derek. But I mean, we got like how many seasons of Meredith and Derek? And we got how many seasons of Meredith and George? Like, I feel like there wasn't really much left to say between Meredith and Derek. You know what I mean? Like, obviously she misses him. I was a lover for life. But it's like, what else do you say? Now with Meredith and George, I think there's just so much that she wished that she could have said to him and that he had known before he died. If you don't watch Grey's Anatomy, you don't know what I mean. Um, but Copper, hey, get out of her bowl. Copper wanted to come and hang with us. And usually he'll come and he'll get in the bed and he'll just snuggle with me. But right now he's in everything and he's annoying the hell out of Ellie and he might not be able to stay in here. I think... I need to catch up on the finale of 90 Day the Other Way. Um, I'm not a fan of all of the 90, 90 Day Fiance shows, but the other way really got me. Um, so me and mom have been watching it. But I was at work all night um, when the finale came on last week. So I think I'm going to go ahead and watch that because I want to see what happens. Um, let me know what's your favorite couple. I don't know if I have a favorite couple. No, I do. Kenny and Armando are my favorite couple. I think they're the only two that I think will actually make it. Jenny and Summit. <sighs> Y'all. Brittany and Yazan. Brittany pisses me off. Devin and Jihoon are just... And what's her face? The girl that moved to Ethiopia. I can't remember her name right now. I don't know why. Um, Ari. Yeah, Ari and Binyam. I, that ain't gonna work either. His his sisters are gonna run her off like I'm sure they did the last one. Um, 
which I feel like she is the only one that has even attempted to understand the culture in any way. Like, there are clearly things that she doesn't like about it, but I think the bigger issue is that Benyam just doesn't, he doesn't tell her things before. Like, how you just going, how you got somebody who's not from your country, knows nothing about your culture, and you don't tell them, oh yeah, after the baby, they're going to show up to our house and sacrifice an animal. Like, you should probably tell her that before. I'm just, <laughs> like, he just springs stuff on her. He doesn't try to explain anything to her. He'll just have flat out conversations and not tell her what's going on. I think he kind of likes that. I think that makes him feel like he's more in control than he really is. Um, for her to not really understand what's happening. But um, the bigger issue that I have with a lot of these people, especially these women, is that they just expect to move to another country and not have to learn about understand or respect anybody's culture and I'm just like you can't be mad at this person for following what is part of their culture like yes there are things about you that understandably you don't want to have to change but I mean I know y'all got internet y'all be twerking on y'all be twerking on YouTube and Instagram so I know you got internet so I know you can look up what is the political climate? What are the customs in Jordan? What are the customs of Islam in general? Like, you can look those things up. I feel like Britney really is just a clout chaser. Like, I feel like she's a social climber. I feel like she's a clout chaser. I don't think that she cares for Yazan as much as he cares for her. And it shouldn't take someone finally you know, explaining like, hey, like this dude could actually like lose his life trying to be married to you for her to give a shit. Like, and the the reason I know she's not genuine is because every time they get in a fight, every time there's an issue, she's smirking. She's smiling. I don't like that shit. That's just not right. Kenny and Armando are really the only ones that I love. Um, Tim and May Lisa, they ain't gonna work out. The day he cheated, they should have known that that wasn't going to work. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, Kenny and Armando are the only ones that I like. Um, I like separate characters. Like, I, I like Yazan. I think he has tried to be a caring and loving individual as much as he could in the situation. I think a lot of the blow-ups that he's had has been extreme stress. Like, I, if I were in that situation, I probably would be just as upset and just as angry um I like Jenny and I like Summit but I just think that they're delusional thinking that this is going to work like it he's not going to be able to have his Jenny and his family um regardless of how this finale ends it's not gonna happen it's, it's just not gonna happen he's not gonna be able to have both um and I don't know I just feel like a lot of these couples on here the whole other way thing is not going to work. If they're going to play out their relationships and try to stay together, they're not going to be able to stay in the countries of their origin. I'm pretty sure Ari is going to leave at some point. Um, I see her trying to make it w work, but I don't think she's going to stay because Benyam is not honest and his family butts into their relationship so much and butts into their decision so much that it's no wonder why the first chick left with their child. I think they're trying really hard to make sure that that doesn't happen again, but it's like she's trying really hard to understand and they're not helping her. They're just shoving it down her throat instead of trying to help her understand what is going on with the culture. Now, Ari is spoiled as shit. She is spoiled as hell. And I don't know what she thought was going to happen moving to Ethiopia. But <laughs> but I think out of everyone, especially the women moving to these other countries, I think she's the only one that has at least attempted. And she has given up a lot. She has really sacrificed a lot. Um, and I just don't see Benya making the same sacrifices that she's making. And at some point, it's just going to be one too many sacrifices and I think she's gonna take that baby and she's gonna leave um 
but yeah i i just find the whole 90 day fiance thing i just find it really really interesting but i also find a lot of these people to be absolutely 100 percent delusional The best part of being at home is this. It's that, honey. They take care of me, and I take care of them. Doesn't get better. <laughs> she knows I don't feel good, so she she's doing her work. Whenever I'm in pain, she lays on me and she purrs. And tries to make me feel better. You're such a good girl. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I brought my bag down so we can get into these candles. They did give out these big bags this year. <laughs> so I did not go in the store and shop this year. I had a plug, shout out to you girl, thank you so much for getting me these candles. Um, you and my buddy, Maya and Trey, thank you so much for grabbing these for me. Um, because I had to be at work at 7 a.m. the day that candle day started. And I knew that all the candles that I really wanted were gonna be gone. I swear that damn phone. I don't even know why we have a landline at this point. We don't use it. Let me show you the last of my Jackiana candles. Um, I'm working on that review for you guys. You see Z over here? Zizi, you say hi. Zizi. You love Christmas trees, don't you? I love the Christmas tree, don't you? <laughs> That's my baby. She loves Christmas. She loves the Christmas tree. She loves the presents under the tree. And she loves the aftermath of the presents under the tree. Um, let me go through my Forever Mood candles first because I got two more after I ordered her Sin Mood set um, for the for her fall launch. So I got another skinny dipped. This has notes of pistachio and apple. It's a yummy, sweet twist on a pistachio scent. I actually have this burning upstairs and I'll just tell you it is so good so highly suggest skinny dip if you are a pistachio lover candles so good and then another one from my pistachio lovers this is the one candle I wanted the most from her first like core launch and this is caked up and I was excited about this because if you guys follow Jackie, you know that she and I have a similar love in candles. My favorite Bath and Body Works candle is pistachio ice cream, and that is also one of her favorites. And so when I saw that she was doing a pistachio fragrance, I knew that I had to have it. I just knew that I had to have it. It's so good. This smells almost identical to pistachio ice cream. But the quality is definitely better. It's just a little bit cakier because it is called Caked Up. This definitely gives like pistachio ice cream with a little bit of like pistachio cake on the side. It's that yummy, creamy pistachio almond scent and I need like 60 of this candle. <laughs> Jackie, if you're watching this, I need like 60 of this candle because it's so good so <sighs> caked up if you love if you love my recommendation of pistachio ice cream from bath and body works yes this is more expensive but the quality is up there the burn time is insane like i've been burning all of these candles for weeks now and i still haven't even gotten halfway down the jar on any of them and I've been burning them for a long time, like three to four hours at a time, and they've been perfect. So 
those are my forever nude candles perfect pistachio scents i love these so much so the first one from bath and body works i got i think nine candles total in store and then i have two coming from online because the sale started going at like 5 30 so i went ahead and just got them before everyone else hopped on the site so the first one is the perfect christmas and look at that beautiful packaging i love it the black and the red and the white it's just so beautiful and the notes on this read fresh cut pine cinnamon sugar toasted marshmallow marshmallow with essential oils this is literally a perfect holiday scent if you don't like tis the season because to me Tis the season smells like an old lady's purse. It smells like a church lady's bag. Like, it smells like Red Hots and cinnamon gum. It's just too much. It, smell, it smells like a Baptist church to me. And you can't tell me it doesn't. <laughs> um, this is a great option for someone who wants that, like, perfect quintessential holiday scent. But can't do Tis the season. This has that pine scent that you get. And fresh balsam minus the eucalyptus and it's sweetened with vanilla marshmallow and cinnamon and the cinnamon in here is a very like mouth-watering type of cinnamon it's not like that red hot cinnamon scent that you get in a lot of their other candles so I love this so much I, I should have got two but I was trying to stay on budget. Plus, I knew that that morning I had spent money online. So if I happen to see any more of this, if they have any like 10 off, you know, 10 off candle sales, then I will get another one. Next up, completely different type of scent. This is salted caramel eggnog. I was super intrigued when I saw this scent. It's just most of these have that regular white wax. Nothing special on the inside. And the notes on this read gooey caramel, fresh sea salt, and dulce de leche, sweet whipped cream with essential oils. This is really good. It doesn't really have an eggnog thing going on. I thought that there would have at least been a little bit of like cinnamon and nutmeg in here. But not really. It's a really yummy, creamy, salted caramel scent. So I'm not disappointed in the candle because it does smell good and I think this is going to have a really good throw because it literally smells like just a gooey vat of like creamy salty caramel sauce. But it's not really giving me eggnog. Like I need at least a little bit of nutmeg in there to get that eggnog vibe and this does not have that. So I'm hyped to burn this. It's going to smell real, real good. It just doesn't really smell like eggnog. So that is salted caramel eggnog. And this one I've already burned because this is the one that I was most excited about. I have a love-hate relationship with gingerbread scents from Bath & Body Works. A lot of the ones that I've tried have had no throw. They've just been really disappointing. So when I saw gingerbread marshmallow come out, I was like, I really want to try that. That's what she looks like all the way around. Really cute packaging. This one got really good reviews from a lot of people, so I wanted to try it too. The notes on gingerbread marshmallow read gingerbread spice, eggnog, spice rum, vanilla frosting, brown sugar crystals with essential oils. I don't, again, there's an eggnog note in this. I don't really get it. It smells like fresh baked gingerbread cookies with like, you know, the marshmallow fluff that you get like in the tub. Like if you just took a gingerbread cookie and just dipped it in there, picked it up and ate it, that's what this smells like. And this has really good throw too. It burns really well. It's not a super fast burner. It doesn't burn overly hot. And you can see I've already been burning it. I want another one of this. This is one that I could stand to have a few of. This is a really, really good candle. It's nice. The spices in this, the cinnamon, um... And the gingerbread and the nutmeg and all that stuff, it smells really, really good. 
it's not overpowering but you still get the sweetness of the brown sugar and the vanilla frosting i don't really get a spiced rum quality to this i wouldn't say it gives me like an alcoholy vibe but it smells really really good so that's gingerbread marshmallow this is the one that i was the most excited for out of this whole haul this is another one I was really excited for because I've heard so much about this candle. It's been out of stock in a lot of stores. And that is Peppermint Sugar Cookie. And look at how beautiful this packaging is. So beautiful. It has the light blue wax. And the notes on Peppermint Sugar Cookie are crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, soft sugar cookies with essential oils. This is really good. It's really close to my peppermint marshmallow candle, which I don't know if that came back this year. I don't think it did. But this has a buttery aspect to it that kind of amps up this scent. So if you're a fan of peppermint marshmallow, y'all know that is like my candle for holiday. Like, if I had to pick a marshmallow fragrance from Bath & Body Works, it would be peppermint marshmallow because the peppermint really brings out throw in that scent. This is so good. You get a little bit of that, like, doughy note in there, which I really like. And I kind of feel like I should have gotten at least two of this. But like I said, I was trying to stay on a budget. But this is so nice. If I happen across any more in the store, um, because I'm going to have to go to the mall at some point. I had to get another one of this we're almost done with our first one that we pulled out for the season so I had to get another one and that is fresh balsam y'all this is another one of our favorite staple candles my mom loves this candle this one and the next one I'm about to show you the notes on fresh balsam are woodland balsam crisp eucalyptus fir branches cedar wood with essential oils and this is a fresh crisp christmas tree scent it smells like christmas trees you get that like kind of sweet sap sensation that you get from like actual pine needles it's so good it's a little sweet earthy and crisp from the eucalyptus and i just love this candle and i had to get this packaging <clears throat> i was hoping that this was going to be the packaging that they had and this is the packaging that they had so i love me some fresh balsam so I have this in another backup. The one that I have now is the matte green packaging from last year because I got two of those. No, I actually got three of those on Candle Day. So I love this so much. Love me some fresh balsam. And this packaging just in general is just, it's so beautiful. A lot of the winter packaging this year was so pretty and whimsical. But yeah, if you love tree scents, fresh balsam is where it's at. You need it. Next, I got two of the same candle, and that is Sugared Snickerdoodle. They have two different lids. You know, in store, people be switching stuff, so one has this lid, one has this lid. Both of them are pretty. Um, I actually like this a little bit better because it has gold in it, but the notes on Sugared Snickerdoodle are warm spices, creamy vanilla, and sugared musk with essential oils. If you want your house to smell like fresh baked cookies, but you don't feel like making fresh baked cookies so your house can smell like fresh baked cookies, you need this. It's so good. It's creamy. It has just like a hint of cinnamon, just a hint. It's warm. It's comforting. I love this scent so much. And this is the other scent that my mom really, really loves. So... I always get two so that we can keep these burning downstairs. Um, and this will match really nicely with that Santa that I have up front. So um, these are probably going to go in the front of the house. And we love it so much. We may even do one in the front of the house and one in the back of the house. I love me some sugar snickerdoodle and I have to have it every year. And the last two candles are from their This Just In collection. And... They had quite a few ones from there. I kind of wanted under the Christmas tree, but I wasn't really sure. I got the two that sounded the most interesting to me. I've already burned one of them, and that is Mary Madeline Cookie. And I love that this is in the luminary packaging. This is so stunning when it is burning. 
The notes on Mary Madeline Cookie are baked Madeline Cookie, spiced almond, sweet orange, toasted coconut with essential oils. This is really nice if you like bakery scents but you don't like strong bakery scents like if um sugar snickerdoodle is too much for you i think that this is a good option you really get that orange in there i would say you mainly get the orange and that like night nice light almond scent and you get the slightest hint of bakery i saw some people saying that they were kind of disappointed in this but i mean let's be honest madeline cookies don't really smell like much like Madeline cookies are known for how light and airy they are and this perfectly evokes that so I don't think there's anything wrong with this candle um it has I would say like a medium throw once it's completely pulled out it gets stronger so you may need a couple of these to fill up like a really big space but in a smaller room sitting room it's perfect I really like this. It definitely kind of has that like festive edge to it because of the um the sweet orange that's in here. But this is a really, really nice scent. And honestly, as true to a Madeline cookie as I think that you could get. So that is Mary Madeline cookie. And it's just so gorgeous burning. So good. All right. And last but not least, this one has been very controversial because a lot of people are saying this is a repackage and I can kind of see it, but mine doesn't really smell exactly like what they're saying it's repackaged as. So this is Sweet Cranberry Pie. Another one in that luminary packaging all the way around. I love the luminary packaging and I always feel like when it comes to these, the wicks burn hotter. It, it, if you've noticed this on the luminary packaging, the wicks burn so much hotter. I know it's not just me. And the notes on this are tart cranberries, brown sugar, chopped walnuts, and flaky pie crust. A lot of people are saying this is a repackage of blueberry pie. I do think the crust note is the same. But the cranberry note in this is really strong in my candle. And some of you guys saw my comment on um, Tina Marie's channel. Um, saying that mine was like really really strong on the cranberry and some of you guys commented and said yeah mine is too like it doesn't I can get the blueberry vibe to it it's there but the cranberry in mine is really really strong and very tart I do get the walnut a little bit in here But I mostly get that super tart cranberry scent with that flaky pie crust note that you get in blueberry pie. The pie crust note is the same to me, but I don't really smell the blueberries hardcore in here. It smells like cranberry sauce. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's a batch thing. Um, 0295A6AK. I don't know if that's the batch code. I'm not quite sure. Um, so if we have the same batch code, we may have the same strong cranberry scented candle. But mine is really good and it smells like a cranberry pie. It smells like an authentic cranberry pie. So I'm very happy with mine. Um, I kind of want to get another one, but I'm also kind of worried that that one might not smell like this, you know? I can't wait to burn this. I already know it's going to fill up the whole house. I already know. I'm going to burn it down here and I'm going to be able to smell it all around the house and upstairs. That's how strong this is just on cold. So that is sweet cranberry pie right there. And that is it for my candle day haul. Um, I did pick up two offline. I got balsam and firewood, which I've always wanted to try. Um, and I also got... Uh, butter rum egg eggnog so I'm hoping that that one has more of that true like eggnog scent I'm really excited and the packaging is super cute I think that's going to be here tomorrow because it said that it was the shipment had just hit like one of the Charlotte warehouses so I'm really excited um I will share those two with you when they come in the mail but yeah that is it for candle day 2020 I didn't go as ham as I did last year 
So I'm gonna get up and get to chopping and working on this soup so we can eat some din-din tonight. All right, so I just did the prep for the soup. I've got my onion, garlic, well, onion, garlic. Um, what's that? Oh, onion skin. Um, carrots, whole carrots peeled and some celery. I have three stalks of celery. I'll add more if I feel like I need more. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let this pot heat up. I'm going to do a little bit of olive oil in the bottom. Just like two turns of the pan. And I'm going to let that heat up. I'm going to go ahead and cut up my onion and my garlic and that's going in first. Rudolph, how you do that? Tell me how you do that. little brother y'all haven't seen him in years so yeah he's not so little anymore
saw her a little bit last night um i did the chicken noodle soup and i also made some more of those peanut butter cookies because my, my hormones are telling me things so don't judge me y'all i don't eat sweets like that when i'm not on my cycle <laughs> but i also because i don't eat sweets like that i don't like fuss at myself for doing a little extra when i'm really hormonal like this so I'm still really tired though. This period's kicking my ass. And I realize, set my arm right here. To be at work at seven tomorrow to man the door. And I'm just sitting here like, are we are we opening at fucking seven o'clock in the morning? Y'all. I need I need to quit. I just <laughs> And there's there's so much more that I can't say without getting in trouble like on camera but I, I need to quit I just I need to go it, it's time <laughs> I need to be done with the retail in general I'm not doing fancy breakfast this morning I'm tired I'm so tired um today's just gonna be be an editing day I don't really feel like getting on camera today and getting cute so I have a video going up this evening um that's going to be my chocolate kinks and curls video that's going up this evening and then i need to edit we'll start editing my pumpkin spice tutorial because i told y'all that i was gonna do that i'm still gonna put it up and it's still gonna be called pumpkin spice even though it's almost christmas okay <laughs> and hopefully y'all will like it it's a look that you guys requested so it's not like I'm just throwing it out there. Like it's a look that you guys said you wanted to see. And I'm still getting questions on that video <laughs> that I first did the look. Can you do this makeup tutorial? So hopefully you guys will see it and love it and watch it. I got lots of great feedback on my three looks, one palette video. As I tell people, like, I don't think people realize how much comments and shares really help too. Like likes are one thing views are one thing but to actually be able to have dialogue in the comments about what you like and what you didn't like and all that good stuff like that is what helps the most and i can have a video do not as great and it still doesn't like harm the channel because there will be like twice the amount of comments that i usually have on other videos you know what i mean so that really does help too so even if you're just like hey girl hey how you doing Comments help a lot. They really do. So, um, you guys really just gave me a lot of feedback. I'm still commenting on on <laughs> um, comments. I'm still responding to comments on that video because I'm a hard time keeping up with comments. Um, but I love talking to you guys. So, um, I'm still going back and replying to comments on that video. So, I told you guys that I made this really yummy um peppermint mocha yesterday and I'm gonna do another one because we're out of creamer and I can't do my coffee black so <laughs> um I'm going to show you guys how I make it it's really really easy um it's super simple you can modify this um and do like almond milk or um Whatever milk you like, oat milk, um, all that good stuff. Did I leave the extract out? Yes, 
I did. Okay, so what'd be the best way to show you guys? Okay, y'all. So for this recipe, it's really, really easy. Um, you just need your favorite hot cocoa. Um, this is the one that we have. I didn't even realize this had marshmallows in it. And I didn't taste no marshmallows. Maybe that's why I was so frothy. This is what we have. Um, I either get Swiss Miss or the Ghirardelli hot cocos are really, really good. Also going to need something to kind of make this baby nice and rich and creamy. We have half and half. We don't really use half and half, so I'm trying to use it up before it goes bad. So I added half and half and then just a little bit of pure peppermint extract. When I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. I would rather do this though, just because um, like you can get the syrups and stuff, but then it would be too sweet with the hot cocoa, if you know what I mean. Um, so I don't wanna add any more sugar to it. So I just did that. And of course you're gonna need coffee. So I think you guys can see everything I'm doing. Plus I figured it would be good to use this glass so you can kind of see everything swirl together so I like to add my hot cocoa first and then brew the coffee over top it's a lot easier to mix it that way Mix that up real good. I want to make sure that everything's blended the coffee and the cocoa. I'm going to add my half and half. And then, last but not least, I do a quarter of a teaspoon of peppermint extract. It's strong, just so y'all know. Honestly, I don't even know if what I put in was really like a quarter of a teaspoon yesterday. You really only need a couple drops of this. This is one of those ingredients. If you have like a, like a dropper, I would just take a dropper and do like two drops of peppermint extract. And then you wanna make sure you stir that up really good too because you don't want the peppermint to just sit on the top because it will definitely like burn your nostrils. Easy peppermint mocha. It's really good. Yeah, this is so good. So now that I've been doing this, I low-key feel like I don't need to get one from Starbucks, even though I think their their hot cocoa is a little bit richer. But um, I would probably start getting like the Ghirardelli hot cocoa. I'm pretty sure we have some of the Ghirardelli hot cocoa packets at my job. I might get some of those. Maybe do this with like some dark chocolate hot cocoa. Got my coffee. Got my Sammy. Let's go open this package. I got my Bath and Body Works order. Mine came really fast and I was lucky enough to not be one of the people that had canceled orders. I just really need Bath and Body Works to get it together. Like Bath and Body Works has too much money to not be handling these situations well. Like I will say I was very disappointed in how they handled Candle Day. Um in a pandemic, people shouldn't feel pressured to go to the stores, ever. Like, this shit is serious, <laughs> people are dying, no one should ever feel pressured to go to the stores. They actually put a little crate in here. Like, just the regular crates that you get at the store, so hopefully nothing is broken. Um, ooh, something smells good, okay. And I think it's that, that eggnog one. No cracks. All right, so this is butter rum eggnog. This packaging isn't cute. 
And the notes on this are spiced eggnog, vanilla bourbon, rich buttercream, and shaved nutmeg with essential oils. Th this is it, y'all. Yes. Oh man, I should have gotten like two more. Oh, this is so good. You definitely get the eggnog quality of this. This is a true eggnog scent. Um, it is a little boozy. This isn't your virgin eggnog. She's a little boozy. Oh my God. I have to burn this today. Listen, if this pops back up on the site, because y'all know how they do, they'll mark stuff out of stock when it really ain't. You see them do it time and time again. If this comes back and you like sweet scents, get this. This is the eggnog candle. Don't get the salted caramel eggnog one I had, even though that one's really nice, but it's a caramel scent. This is an eggnog scent. Oh my God. I die. And then I'm just gonna light this right here while I'm working. Oh, so good. And then, well, I'll just sit on top of this box so you can see. Yeah. This is my Curl Days package. She wasn't on my Black Friday list, but I said, sis is doing a good sale, let me support. So I don't even really watch Curl Days, but I said, she's one of us, why not support? And then the last one I got is Balsam and Firewood. I love that packaging. I almost got, van is it Vanilla Bean Marshmallow? Part of me feels like I should have. And the notes on Balsam and Firewood are Cedarwood, Cardamom, and White Birch with essential oils. That's not what I expected. I thought this would be more of a tree scent. Like I, I get the cardamom quality in this. Don't get a lot of the cedar though. This is light. For one of their tree scents, this is light. I have to see what it's like when I burn it. I like the scent, but it just comes off very light. So that is the last of my candle purchases. So if I see anything else come up on the website that I really like, then of course I will get it if it's on sale because I ain't giving Bath and Body Works 2454 candle. Um, if this pops up back on the site, I have the feeling that I'm definitely going to have to get another one of this. It smells so good. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and light this and sit down and eat my breakfast and start working on some content. Hey, y'all. Sorry for the horrible lighting. Can I set you guys right here? <laughs> um, just checking in. This is definitely going to be like the end of the vlog because it's Saturday. So this vlog is going to be going up tomorrow. So I've already started editing it. And I'm probably going to work on editing it into the wee hours of the night. So, I just finished eating dinner. I just had some soup and a grilled cheese because I didn't feel like getting fancy tonight. If y'all are wondering what's going on with these behind me, um, I've been testing paint swatches for my room. I just haven't gone to buy the paint yet. I just... If you work retail, especially now with COVID going on, you probably understand how I feel with like, when I leave work, I don't want to go anywhere <laughs> because I'm so sick of seeing people. Um, I'm just using this uh, C.O. Bigelow Lemon Hand Treatment. This is really nice, actually. I got this from Octoly. It actually came in a kit. Um, actually, I'll just, I'll show you the kit. Hold on. It came in this little kit and it comes with the hand cream, which is really nice. I mean, you can see how nice my hands look and all I did was moisturize. 
they add a it adds like a really pretty glow to your hands and it's really nice i had some um some of my cuticles are kind of torn up i don't know if y'all can try not to flick you off but like i have some cuticles that are torn up from the job which it happens often like if i end up in the back room unpacking boxes and stuff my hands get torn apart so this has been really nice um I think there's like lemon oil in here. Yeah, there's some lemon water. There's some lemon oil in here. Um, shea butter. Sweet almond. Carrot. This is really, really nice. Um, I definitely will buy this again. I'm very picky about hand cream. <laughs> so if it does not work well, um, I'm very picky. I used to be a Crabtree and Evelyn girl. I actually used to work for them. Um, and they shut down all of their brick and mortar stores in 2018. So I'm always looking for the next best hand cream. Um, and this is actually really nice. It's thinner than Crabtree and Evelyn if you've tried their hand creams, but it's really, really nice. So, and also came with the um, lemon hand wash. This is the only one I haven't tried. This also has lemon oil um, and lemon extract. It's supposed to be supposed to be moisture rich and brightening. So like all of these are supposed to like brighten your skin, you know, give you that nice pretty glow. The only reason I haven't opened this is because I have um, one of my Bath and Body Works soaps on the counter right now. I think it's the frosted biscotti one, which smells so good. But yeah, this has a really nice lemon scent. I think I might put this in the kitchen because it's very, very lemony, very bright. But I have no doubt that this is bomb. I've been wanting to try these products for a while. Um, I don't think you can get these in Bath and Body Works anymore, but I will link. Um, I will link all the information for their website. And I think, I think they gave me a code. Um, I think they gave me a discount code for CO Bigelow via, via Octoly because I got these, um, from Octoly, um, and CO Bigelow sent them to me through there. So I will leave the, um, link for you guys in the description bar with, like, their website, um, and then the discount code as well. So if you're interested, you can try them out. And I also have the Lemon Body Cream which is really, really nice. I just haven't used it as often because I've been using a lot of my like warmer scents, like my pistache body butter um, and my pinky blue, some of my pinky blue scents. Um, but this has a really nice texture. Again, thinner than what you would expect, but it feels really, really good. So I've used it a few times. I use it during the day, like in the morning when I'm kind of trying to wake up. I'll use it then. And it's really, really nice. It has, it's, I would say it's like a medium weight body butter. It's not crazy thick like pinky blue. It's not thin like a lot of the Bath and Body Works lotions. So you can see it makes your skin really nice and glowy, so. But it's a very like tart lemon scent. And I find scents like that really nice in the morning I'm not really a morning shower person but <laughs> when I do shower in the morning um it is nice to have scents like this so that is the body butter it's really really nice not like a going to bed scent definitely a waking up in the morning and kind of trying to refresh yourself scent yeah so work was work was work Ugh. It was something else but I got through it I made it um I did my hair yesterday and I used my she sent it and main choice pearly braid out glaze combo it's very it's it feels so good I need to shape it again because I sweated it out um, at work, but I've just had it in a bun since I got home. 
so yeah that's my heroes she needs a little help with the shape but that's just because i've had her in a bun and she's um gotten stiff sometimes y'all are like well your hair looks stiff i'm like yeah if you were at work all day sweating your ass off your hair would be stiff too <laughs> um it's just it's just all the sweat and y'all know my hair draws back up very easily so that's what it is so once I like kind of put it in the bun and stretch it back out and shape it then that whole stiff aspect goes away oh and also I had to show you guys the tree I found a black angel the last black angel in the store does she really match our tree nope but nothing on our tree matches anyway so I was like whatever <laughs> but mom was like yeah you can keep her when you move because her look goes better with my aesthetic for the tree that I'm probably not going to end up getting. We'll talk about that in the next vlog. Um, but she was the only one, like, like she was the only one there. And I had to have her. I had to have her, so. Um, I'm going to take you guys downstairs. And me and mom will sign off on this vlog. Okay, guys. Well, this is it. We're going to get ready to watch the movie and we're just going to chill out. I know y'all been missing mom in this vlog, <laughs> but she's she's a busy lady, okay? She's busy trying to make sure the kids learn their stuff. Right. So, we just wanted to come on and say thank you guys so much for watching this one. Oh, last week's one hit a thousand views. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. So, you guys are enjoying them, so... Of course, you're going to keep getting Vlogmas for the rest of this season. I've had requests for, for like, a, a vlog a month. I don't know. We might. I might. <laughs> it depends on what we do because, you know, we're really going nowhere, right? Yeah. But I just wanted to capture mom because I know y'all love her. girl. <laughs> and we have so much fun together because mom is my bestie, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully we'll have some more shenanigans with the two of us to share mm -hmm. next week. And then <laughs> I think the week after we're doing what? The Festival of Lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll have some things to show you guys in the next coming weeks. We love you guys and we'll see you next week. Bye.